out are predators. In many aquaculture farms, the animals are fed pellets made from smaller fish found in the ocean. To aid in preventing marine overfishing, a group of German scientists is studying how well trout thrive on a vegetarian diet. Conventional fish breeders are skeptical the attempts will succeed. It's a predator fish that's been feeding on other fish since time immemorial. It seems unlikely that its enzymes will be able to cope with vegetable proteins. Unlikely, but not impossible. At least according to Carsten Schulz from the non-profit Society for Aquamarine Aquaculture. His vegetarian fish food contains protein and oil taken from plants like rapeseed or soy. The researcher hopes it will help the fish gain weight just as quickly as animals on a fish meal diet and that they'll taste the same. There are convincing economic reasons for developing an industrial vegetarian food for trout. Schultz has tried different ingredients, including potato proteins. That didn't work. The fish just weren't biting. We have dort eigene, yeah. In some of the tests that we ran, the fish actually preferred to starve for two months rather than eat the experimental feed that we offered them. Other studies are being pursued to shed light on how nutritious a vegetarian trout would be for humans. The researchers measured factors like fat content, which provides information on the animal's health. Whenever we have very fatty fish, we know that the raw materials we're feeding them are not being optimally metabolized. So it's an important parameter. The scientists also measure protein content, which tells them how much of the vegetable protein in the new feed has been converted into nutritious animal protein. That series of tests hasn't been completed yet. We also eat the fish that we raise here because it's part of knowing what we're doing. And we can report that fortunately, the substitution has not negatively affected the taste of the trout in the least. The trout's current favorite in the experiment is a food made with rapeseed as an ingredient. But other tests are ongoing with potato and algae-based feeds. One drawback has been that the vegetarian diet slows the growth of the fish, meaning they take longer to reach a size large enough to harvest. But the researchers hope to also overcome that problem soon.